Welcome to the Alan Handelman Show, a variety of fascinating people from the international world of rock and roll to the conversational newsmakers and authors. From the great television and motion picture talents to the country's funniest comedians. And best of all, you can call Alan and his guests toll free at 1 800 Rock Talk. You never really know what's going to be happening, but we guarantee you a show people will be talking about tomorrow. Now, here's Alan. I'm glad you're here. First up, the latest in cool stuff. I mean, cool electronics and gadgets and tools, things you didn't even know existed. Our good friend Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz, is back with us. And coming up in just a bit, the executive producer of all the Batman movies, including The Dark Knight Rises, it's Michael Uslan. What does that mean? Rise. Official audio from The Dark Knight Rises. Can't wait to see the movie myself. It is always fun to have my first guest, Dick D. Bartolo, with us for 40 years with Mad Magazine. That crazy stuff, a lot of it is, most of it today, is the guy, Dick D. Bartolo, who you're going to be hearing. He's also known as the Gizwiz, where he talks about the latest electronics and cool gadgets. Some things very cheap, some things are expensive. He shows it on ABC World News Now. And with Leo Laporte on the Daily Gizwiz, which I believe is among the most watched podcast in the entire world. Dick, it's great to have you back. It's been a while. Uh, oh, it has. So since then, I have accum- accumulated uh, 7,493 new gadgets. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. I was on your page uh, for about two and a half, three hours, going back as far as April. Now, we're going to go over a lot of electronics and gadgets. If you want to follow along, go to the website gizwiz.biz. You can see the information and links to any of these things that you want. Uh, he gives a fair review, whether it's uh, positive or negative. He tells you about it, the good and the bad. You make up your own mind. But before we get started with all these cool things out there, talk about the great show you guys do, Leo Laporte, The Daily Gizwiz. It's a great program. It was on every day, and now it's going once a week. You know, Leo's up to like 30 or 35 podcasts. And so the people who edit them said, can't you guys just do the Gizwiz, do all five gadgets in one shot so we don't have to uh, edit them every day? Um, So the show's the same, except now it's like a a single 45-minute to an hour show. That's the way I like it. I was listening to it, uh, preparing for the show, taking a shower this morning. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. It's it's very entertaining. You're very funny to begin with. Leo's funny side you you bring out. And uh, you you talk about electronics and gadgets. What could be better? Yeah, absolutely. They keep us young. All right, here's our first product. This is a big problem with the earbuds. They tangle up. There's a new one called Backbeat Buds, and they claim to never tangle. This is this is pretty neat. It's from Plantronics, and they're called the Backbeat Go wireless earbuds. And basically, that's exactly what they are. They're Bluetooth-enabled. Uh, there's a single wire that connects the right and the left earbuds. The wire dro- uh, droops behind your uh, head so you don't see it. The wire is almost square. W- whatever, w- whatever shape they've come up with, it's almost tangle proof. So you can roll these up, throw them in your backpack or stick them in your pocket. And when you pull them out, you just hold one end and they seem to just unwind and be tangle free. Really? So, it, it works? Yes. Does it really work? It does. I've only, I only have them for not even a week yet, but so far they've worked great. And they're a Bluetooth and up near one of the earbuds, the one that goes in your right ear, there's a tiny little uh, box in line with the the other earbud, and that's your little control box. When you first get them, you pretty much have to take it out of your ear to operate the different buttons. But after an hour or two playing with it, you can uh, advance songs, change the volume, you can take calls. Uh, as long as you have a Bluetooth enabled cell phone, if your Bluetooth enabled cell phone does voice recognition, you can voice dial. Um, they run on a full charge. Plantronic says you'll get four and a half hours of talk or listening time, uh, up to 10 days of standby time. They come with uh, three sets of little 
a fitting earbud so you can make them fit the best you want. And uh, list price is ninety nine ninety nine, and I checked Amazon; they're running about seventy seven dollars. Plantronics, uh, <clears throat> Plantronics, and they're called the Backbeat Go. Well, if that works, it's uh, worth it because that's my big problem. They get that they fall in the car someplace. I can't find them because they're black and they're tangled up into something. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So if it really works, now this is something new. This is something that. I guess this time of the year, people are trying to get in shape, but who, let's face it, we always are trying to get in shape. Leo was on a exercise kick he mentioned last week with you. Yes. And there's this new bike out, expensive bike, but yes. the guy really believes in this invention. Tell everybody what it is. Well, Leo, Leo is right on the edge of buying one. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I called the company and said, you know, if you have a deal in near Leo, you should, I hope Leo's not listening to this show. I, I said, if you're in for this, you would send it to the studio. I'll give you the time we're going to tape. Uh, I do my segment from New York, uh, although next week I'm flying out to do it live at the studio. Mm -hmm. But I, I would say, Leo, for the next spot, just walk out your door and, and preset for a cameraman to be able to ride along next to Leo. But it's called the Elliptigo. So... Picture the running machine, the, the, the step master at your gym, and that you have mounted that on a bike frame. So instead of pedaling, you use the stair master. You're stepping up and down, but as you're stepping up and down, a series of levers and, and chain, a chain will make that into your motion for pedaling the bike. Now, they had one stationary at the show I went to, and it's a lot of work. I mean, I don't know how much resistance the guy had on the real wheel because it was in one of those exercise devices. But Leo loves the idea that you're standing as you're biking, and he liked the fact that it was much more of a body workout than just pedaling a bike. And he also liked the fact that there's no bicycle seat to worry about. You're going to have a, a sore butt when you get off it. Uh, and, and as you mentioned in the intro, they are expensive. They are 1800 bucks hmm. for the basic model and, and 2500 for a more advanced model that can do every kind of uh, gear ratio change. The guy really uh, believes in it, and, and it looks really cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Elliptigo.com. You can see a lot of videos of uh, people using them. I'm seeing a lot of videos of people putting on a camera on their helmet and, and you know, riding their bike or their motorcycle or scooter. And there's all kinds of cams now. And this is really cool. It's a pivot head. Yeah. The pivot head HD POV radio, uh, video recording glasses. Uh, apparently you just hook these to your video camera yes these are really neat so as you said they look like glasses <clears throat> if someone's looking at you and talking to you head on they're going to say what is that little dot that little round circle with a piece of glass between the two lenses otherwise but if they're walking next to you or a couple of feet away yeah. you can buy them either looking like regular plain uh, glass glasses or you can buy them to look like they are sunglasses and inside a complete hd video it can shoot 1080p at 30 frames built-in battery uh, so all you do is push down on a little Rocco level on one of the frames for the glasses. A little blinking light goes on in your peripheral vision. You can see that you're in the recording mode. And then any way you look, you are recording. Um, it, it, when you go to my website and look for pivot head glasses, uh, you'll see a, a, a link that says Gizwiz Video. So I thought it'd be fun to... Uh, get in my boat and back my boat out and go out on the Hudson River wearing these glasses. I never realized how many times I turned right, left, right, left, right, left. Yeah, we all do. I saw the video. Yes, I, I, leave it, leaving the dock. And also, um, there's something called uh, high, uh, high Tide Flood, which is when I left, uh, where there's a five-knot current in the marina. Yeah. So you, you have to really be looking back and forth so you stay away from hitting anything. It, it's like kind of like when you put a dog cam on. 
Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, but, but, but the quality of the video, if you could train yourself just to, you know, be like a camera, the quality is excellent. Yes. As a matter of fact, um, I'm flying out to San Francisco on uh, Monday morning and, and going to do uh, what we're doing a new have a new time slot. So we're doing the first show live. And Leo said, you know, I might even use these to cover a press event. And I said, Leo, I'll, I'll tell the manufacturer that I'm going to pass them on to you for trial uh, because the microphone is built in. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to work for if you were doing an interview, but if you're wearing them and narrating something, as you uh, as you may have heard on that video, the sound is perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, they're uh, they're a little pricey. They're three forty nine, uh, eight gigabytes of built in memory. It has an uh, image st st uh, stabilization. It, it, yes, image stabilization. It's really neat. Uh, pivot head. It's Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz. Go to gizwiz.biz. And when we come back, this is a gadget I want to try. I want to find out if it works. It's the OB100. And supposedly what this device does when you connect it to your Wi-Fi is it makes your cell phone sound like a landline. Stay tuned for more of the Alan Handelman Show. Alan Handelman for the Pet Pantry. That's feedyourpets.com, feedyourpets.com. And you hear me talk about it. Yes, I feed the food from the Pet Pantry to my dog, Chewy. I love very much, and my cat I also love. But this is something that anybody can take advantage anywhere in the country. If you live in North Carolina, specifically the Triangle and Triad, they deliver absolutely free. But wherever you are, it is worth visiting this website because the prices for the brands of cat and dog food they sell can't be beat anywhere. Feedyourpets.com. No chemicals, no uh, byproducts, none of these preservatives that's not meant for human consumption. In fact, everything they sell is human grade, but at a great price. Now, here's how to get $5 off your first order. You use my name as the code, Alan feedyourpets.com feedyourpets.com and now here's something from Coors Light for everybody out there who loves summer I love working on my tan that girl from the taco stand lots of long weekends and twins Yeah, have yourself a long, hot summer and an ice-cold Coors Light. Coors Light. Cold. Down. Easy. Rock on. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. The Alan Handelman Show. That's right. Uh, can you handle it? It's a brazen costume for a cat burglar. Yeah, who are you pretending to be? Coming up in just a bit, Michael Uslin, executive producer of The Dark Knight Rising. He is the man behind all the Batman movies. He is the inspiration that kept Batman alive and brought it to the big screen. As we continue with Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz, and if you want to follow along as we talk about the latest cool electronics and gadgets out there, go to his website, gizwiz.biz. One of the big complaints I have, and my friends know, I hate having long conversations on a cell phone. Occasionally they sound okay, but it just I just like the quality of a landline. And supposedly there is a device now called the OB-100 uh, that when you connect it to your Wi-Fi, it makes your cell phone sound like it's coming from a landline. Yes, this was a uh, Leo's Turn to Table Tuesday. Tuesday. And, right. So what this is and why Leo likes it is he has a new apartment and like a lot of people these days, um, he doesn't have a landline phone. So all his calls come in on his cell phone. And he said, you know, when you're doing all your talking on a cell phone a couple times a day, someone will say, are you on a cell phone? I can't quite hear you. And True. it's not the most easy thing to hold. So he bought this little device called the OB-100. And I'm looking here. I, um, 
List price is sixty dollars. Yeah, Leo bought it for forty four dollars on Amazon. So you uh, pair this up with your cell phone, mm -hmm. and then it uses Wi Fi. So that whenever you sell, oh, then you, you go to Radio Shack and you just, you just buy a cheapy landline phone, a phone with a receiver so that, so now when your cell phone rings, it rings your cell phone, but it also rings a regular desk cell phone, a regular desk telephone. Wow. So now you can take calls and you can, I, I believe, like I said, you can dial out through it. Actually, the signal is going through your cell phone. But he said it's really great. So it's wow, sort of. Wow, that's yeah, interesting. It, because it's made it, yes, especially for the price. So it's made it kind of that he does have a landline, except he's using uh, his cell phone service. And does it actually have the quality of a landline? Because you're still going through the cell, but I, I guess it's the microphone that's different. Yes, that's exactly right. It, it's exactly right. The the, the uh, phone quality is better. I think I think he said he he bought a fairly decent uh, desktop phone for. I think he may have paid forty dollars. Um, but it, it's a way, and then you don't have to be holding a little dinky cell phone. Uh, you, you can lay your cell phone anywhere, and and take the call. That's a great uh, idea. That is because that's been my big objection. I've even asked people, "Can you uh, you know call me back on your landline or something like that?" Yes, exactly. You, you can't carry on a long conversation. You know, every once in a while, you have the perfect phone and a great cell site. You know, perfect. Ob one hundred. All right, this is a camera that I, I think uh, I heard about. It's the new Polaroid. It's the Z three hundred and forty. What's the latest on that? What yeah. Now, now this is. Polaroid does strange things. L last year, I, I thought that their camera was sort of interesting. It, I don't know if you remember the Polaroid XS70. It was like a flat camera, sort of shaped like a book. And so the new version was kind of interesting is that it, it, it took pictures digi digitally, and you could do a little bit of a photo fix-up within the camera. And then when you got a photo you really liked, then you would print it. So you didn't have to print out every photo. So now they're just introduced, and I think it started shipping early this month, the Z340. So the Polaroid 340 now takes very small pictures, two by three inch pictures after you, you take the picture. It's a digital picture. Look at it on the Polaroid screen. You go, I don't like that picture. Keep taking more, more, more. Get one you like. Then you hit print, and it prints within the camera. And it puts it puts out a, a very small two by three inch print, but it's on a sticky back that you peel off. Yeah. And the guy said they were aiming it toward kids who would run around taking pictures and putting them on their notebooks and on school lockers, etc. The problem is, it used to be a buck a shot. They got it down the fifty cents a shot, but it's still I don't know in this day and age uh, I don't know if it's going to be a big hit or not yeah yeah that's right but, the way the economy is by the way where do, where are some of your favorite places to buy cheap good stuff discontinued you know stuff you know like the big lots uh, heartland what, what, what yeah, do you, where you do know you what? go the, it, the best price the, the best place to keep in mind if you need cables You'll thank me endlessly for this. I thank Leo for this. Leo, thanks. I think a listener for that. It's monoprice.com. 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 You can buy, for example, you you want uh, cables for your Wi-Fi or your uh, what are they? Cat eight cables for your router. Mm -hmm. They have them from one foot to like a hundred uh, feet. The one foot cable, I believe, I paid. 69 cents. <laughs> wow. They have the most unbelievable cables. They also sell some uh, kind of keyboard things. I, I've met them at, uh, I think I met them at CES. And they build a lot of stuff themselves. They, they sell direct. They don't do any advertising. Uh, great buys. And then I belong to almost every conceivable deal of the day website like there's deal of the day.com 13 deals.com um, and they just offer tons of little sometimes they're junky sometimes uh, I bought a little 
cell phone charger for my Motorola phone. Paid nineteen dollars for it. It was originally sixty bucks. Uh, you know, let me just look in my oh shopfortech.com is a is a good newsletter to sign up for because so, shop for tech and I think that they used the number four shop for tech t e c h dot com and what they do is their webmaster goes through hundreds of bargain websites and they publish a newsletter every day saying these are what we consider the top bargains uh, for today and there'll be a link to the websites that are offering them all right let me repeat those we have uh, four shop for tech.com dot com 13 deals.com deal of the day dot com and monoprice dot com monoprice m o n o price monoprice dot mono com price. and is yeah. that monoprice dot com general merchandise or more in the cabling it's more in cables and uh, things to hook up they, they they occasionally will build their own uh, drawing pad for if you want to add a pad to your computer where you you have a budding artist in your room. Normally, they start at a hundred bucks. The monoped uh, computer tablet is thirty-nine bucks. You know, we love um, to talk about electronics, of course, and those are the gadgets we concentrate on. Although you review all kinds of things, and when we come back, I want to talk about the magic mesh because you tried it. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, a, it's a commercial off of television. I actually bought it myself. I'll tell you my experience. It's Dick D. Bartolo. He is the giz whiz. And if you want to tell me about the latest gadgets you're excited about, you can reach Dick at his website, gizwiz.biz. Facebook, do you even bother with that? You got so many things oh, going yeah. on. Oh, yeah. I'm the gizwiz at Facebook and the gizwiz on, on Twitter. And Mad Magazine. Mad Magazine goes on and on. I just hit uh, 50 years since they bought my first piece back in high school. 50 years. And, basic, you and basically, you're essentially everything at Mad Magazine today. Well, <laughs> I'm, not as, uh, I'm not as much as I used to be because the staff now is down to just five people. That's what I mean. You're, you're, yeah. Well, but, uh, and, and I'm not one of the five, but they always uh, buy something for, uh, for every issue from me. I got and you. And the, the issue yeah. that, that's out next, I have a monster seven-page takeoff on the Avengers, so that should be out soon. Oh, very cool. All right, quick break. Back with Dick D. Bartolo. You're listening to The Alan Handelman Show. Rock and Roll Talk Radio. This is one of the best inventions from the C Crane Company. It's called the Super Wi Fi Antenna 3. It's a thing about what, eight inches long. It looks cool. It has these suction cups on it. You stick it on a window. You can even put it outside. It's waterproof and it pulls in weak Wi Fi signals. If you're having trouble getting the Wi Fi signal, getting enough bars, this amplifies it and it's amazing. In fact, it has two USB plugs. And it's interesting, you could just use one, but if you want even more of a boost, just plug in both of them. So if you're at a hotel and you're trying to get a hot spot, they don't have good internet service, let's say where you are, you can find a Starbucks down the road a mile and suck it in. It works. See for yourself. Go to the website, ccradio.com. And by the way, go, even if you're not interested in buying this particular product, you've got to see the catalog. Get a free catalog. It's absolutely free. You go to ccradio.com and just say, hey, I want that free catalog of all those cool gadgets. Here's their toll-free number, 800-522-8863. 800-522-8863. That's 800-522-8863. Ask about the super USB Wi-Fi antenna 3. And don't forget that free catalog. 